For the first time, women accusing USC of covering up years of sexual assault and misconduct allegations are suing the university. And all they wanted to do was go to their doctor and get the care that any woman in this country is entitled to. And when they did that, they were grossly taken advantage of in the most terrible way. On Monday, attorney John Manley, who was representing four former USC students, filed a lawsuit in the Los Angeles Superior Court. 60 pages of documents allege gross sexual misconduct and sexual assault on the university's campus by Dr. George Tyndall, USC's only gynecologist for about 30 years. Manley questions why he says the university gave the doctor a cash payout and allowed him to resign. They put the university first. The idea that they did this for people's safety and that's why they paid him, please, that's, that's, that's nauseating. Manley says USC deliberately ignored numerous complaints of Tyndall's sexually abusive behavior dating back to at least 2000. I think what you see is a, is a culture that values the university's reputation above all. And, and why is the university's representation important to them? It's money. The complaint accuses Tyndall of using his authority and position of trust to sexually abuse his victims on multiple occasions, including times he forced plaintiffs to strip naked, groped plaintiffs' breasts, assaulted plaintiffs allegedly under the guise of medical treatment. USC acknowledged the lawsuit stating, quote, we are focused on ensuring the safety and well-being of our students and providing support to those affected. USC provost Michael Quick released a letter apologizing to alleged victims, but Quick denied the university tried to cover it up. Quote, it is true that our system failed, but it is important that you know that this claim of a cover-up is patently false. We would never knowingly put students in harm's way. Tyndall has a uh, has denied any wrongdoing in an interview with the LA Times. As for Manley, he says he expects more victims to come forward and join this lawsuit, but he's also urging them to go to the police as well before talking with lawyers so that Tyndall can be held criminally responsible as well. We're reporting live from Irvine, Leah Uko, Fox 11 News.